Hey, Ross, it's Jennifer with NBC Sports. You seem to be more involved today in the offense on 11 11 What are your expectations going forward, kind of, you know, being a supporting group for you and the rest of the tight ends for George? Um, yeah, you know, um, you know, kind of as training camp goes on, we kind of start adding more and more plays to kind of, you know, keep the defense on their toes. And, um, yeah, there were some, some good plays today. Um, it was a good competitive practice just all around. Um, you know, defense made some plays and offense made some plays. And, you know, those are the type of practices that we're going to need to have, you know, not having any preseason games. Um, you know, practices like that are going to be huge to be ready for week one. Kind of on the fun side, since George has gotten his big contract, what has he been like in the locker room and just around the guys? It's been the same. Nothing's changed, you know. Uh, obviously, he got paid like he deserves. Um, but, you know, he's the same, he's the same dude. Uh, he always will, you know, he always will be. He's just working hard, uh, being a leader for the team, just doing everything right. You mentioned the uh, the pace of the practice, Ross. Uh, at one point, I think Kyle Shanahan uh, halted the session and, and talked to you guys. What was that all about? And were you guys going a little bit too hard uh, at that point? Um, I don't think we are going too hard. I think um, there was some maybe like extracurricular stuff going on, um, you know, but that's just, that's just football, you know, like tempers flare, uh, things get aggressive, things get heated. But, you know, like I said, we don't have any preseason games this year. So I think, you know, practices like that are going to be, are going to be huge for our development and just to get ready for uh, week one. Hi, Ross. How did you prepare yourself for this season on your own under quarantine? Did you change your body at all? And, and do you have any personal goals for this season? Um, I was lucky to have a spot to uh, work out most of uh, quarantine. There was a week there when everything um, in California shut down in San Diego, uh, where I was doing like some outdoor workouts and stuff. But after that week, I, I had I was lucky to to have a spot. Um, I was just trying to you know every year it's the same goal, just get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, you know, I really try to work on my footwork in the in the run games and in my in my routes. Um, so that was kind of the main thing. And my goal for the season is just kind of the same as it always is. Just you know, wh whenever the team needs me at whatever position, um, you know, whatever role I need to be, just to you know help the help the team win and help everyone else succeed. You know, that's the that's the main goal. Ross, what have you seen from Jimmy Garoppolo this season so far? He said he feels a little bit more confident coming back, not from an injury, just a regular normal offseason. Have you seen anything different from him so far? Um, I mean, I think just being in the offense for, you know, each year you just get better, you know, whatever position you are, especially a uh, quarterback, you know, just being quicker on your reads, uh, just knowing the offense better overall. Um, you know, but he, he looks great like he did last year. You know, he, he looks strong. He looks, his arm looks uh, great, um, you know. So, you know, he, I think it's mainly just being in the offense uh, another year um, and just being quicker with uh, decisions and stuff like that. Hey, uh, Ross, Trent Williams uh, doesn't look like a guy that didn't play last year. Um, what have you seen uh, from him? I'm sure you knew something about him before he got here, but uh, what struck you about uh, the way he's performed so far? Uh, just, you know, how athletic and how massive he is. <laughs> he's such a big dude, but he moves so, uh, so quick off the ball. Um, and just the way he's learning the offense, just, um, you know, he's just a really impressive dude, really great dude in the locker room, a uh, really friendly guy. So it's been easy to get to know him. Hey, Ross, Keyshawn from the San Francisco News. Who's been the toughest defender you went against in camp so far? Say it again. Who's been the toughest defender you went against so far in camp? I mean, really, just every camp, you know, you got to get ready for our defensive line, especially our defensive ends. You know, for us as tight ends, you know, we're, we're blocking them all the time in the run game. Um, so really just all our defensive ends have been have been tough. It's just kind of like iron sharpening iron. You know, we're just it makes it that much easier um, for week one, just going against uh, our D line. Um, so really just all those guys.
Hey, Russ, what have you seen so far from Charlie Warner? I know it's kind of an adjustment getting into Kyle Shanahan's offense. How has he been so far? Uh, he's been doing well. He's he's picking it up quick. Um, you know, he, he's he's kind of got the big picture down now. He's just working on those uh, little details that Coach Embry really harps on you about. Um, you know, but he's doing really well, uh, running really nice routes. He's blocking really well, um, and he's a really great dude as well.